Hello guys and welcome, it is that SRE2 dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video. Now this video is basically just a documentation of, I guess, my permanent, in quotation marks, uh, sensitivity and settings when it comes to Splatoon 2. Uh, it's a bit late, I know, two years into the game and it's just like, now nah, I'm only doing a video like this. Mainly since I've been through a lot of trouble throughout the two years of just finding a sensitivity and all settings that actually just make my game feel the same every single time and I've never felt that for the last two years until I guess it's two days ago so there's no way I'm going to be changing my sensitivity and settings I feel super comfortable unless something happens and I'm just like all right I, I might s slow down my motion sense a little bit but that's in my opinion right now is probably gonna be the thing that will happen Anyways, just to get into this, I'll stop rambling and all that. My sensitivity and settings. So I guess the thing to start off with is my motion control sensitivity and my stick sensitivity. Now, as you can kind of already see, uh, my motion control sensitivity is shot up all the way to plus five. And the reason for that is just for me, I mean, at this point of this time and playing this game, plus five for me for motion feels the most comfortable. It's not going to be the exact same for you because everybody in the world is different. But uh, plus five for motion feels the most comfortable with me, especially when it comes to just like generally moving the controller. Like I feel like when uh, you want to find a motion sense and all that, uh, you need to like really look into like how, like is it comfortable to do a 180 or not 180, a 90 degree turn uh, when doing motion. And as you can see with plus five for me, it's just like, it's very simple to do. Like it just feels natural and uh, I have the correct muscle memory to remember that, you know, if I turn my hand around, I guess, 90 degrees in a certain way, uh, you know, I just, I guess my muscle memory just remembers then it's just the same every single time. So that is why I have plus five for my motion sense uh, to show off my stick sensitivity. As you can see, it's just under plus uh, five. It's actually uh, 4.5. So why my stick sensitivity is like that. Uh, so there's a couple of different things like I really have to try like experiment with what uh, stick sensitivity I really like uh, But mainly I, I guess my stick sensitivity is just to I feel like it's just really comfortable uh, To like, help with target or I guess with targeting enemies like sometimes sometimes uh, if I'm like targeting one enemy, uh, sometimes if I know there's somebody on my right side or left side, I kind of know like I guess the amount I need to push my stick or flick my stick to actually like hit the I guess the uh, the next target. It doesn't exactly have to be like dead on. It just has to be like around it because when you're playing motion controls in general, you kind of use your stick sensitivity to like move your camera like close enough to the target so that motion can do the you know the, the ending part. So, you know, the combination of that and, uh, like, I guess my plus five uh, motion controls is just, you know, very, very easy. And, you know, it's just a thing where it also really does help uh, when it comes to doing, a, like, a 180 turn. Because a lot of the time, like, when you're using motion, uh, you're going to want to do those 180 turns. So, like, you know, turn your view and all that type of stuff. So, like, as you can see, with, when I have plus five of motion and uh, 4.5 of sticks... Uh, my 180 turns are pretty much perfect because I got like the perfect muscle memory of like um, doing the 180 turn. Like I know how much I need to push the stick, how much I need to turn with my motion controls at the same time, and they just kind of both work uh, in unison right there. So that's just basically it. And then when you put all the two together, it's just you know, it's just general aiming and just all that type of stuff. Like you gotta really like. I feel like when it comes to the finding a perfect sensitivity. You gotta really learn to like, how do I say it? You gotta really learn to like experiment, like just try all kinds of different sensitivities to figure out which one's best for you. And then, uh, you know, they'll just be perfect and you know, just go ahead and like shoot some moving dummies. Like tracking is basically perfect. I know exactly how much I need to turn my controller to uh, basically tag, or not tag, but like lock onto a target right there. So, you know, it's just all about that and you know I basically perfected this there are some other I guess film things that I need to show uh, because I think it's also very important and actually this is to do with the home menu so go into set system settings uh, I say the first one we should go into is TV output just to show you guys now my ones my TV resolution is automatic but it most likely will be in 1080p well it is in 1080p so 
pretty sure most of you guys are, is a uh, you know TV resolution is the same thing that doesn't really exactly matter uh, my color range I put it into full range like default I think it's limited range or automatic but I put mine into full range uh, mainly it just feels more comfortable honestly like, for me personally and with my monitor screen it just makes uh, the contrast with, between things and just makes things easier to see for me personally this may, may be different for you but it's just uh, something for me that I prefer the covering and how you know, I'm able to see things with this and uh, last thing that I need to show is uh, very important as well. Now, I'm a player that plays with Pro Controller wired communication on. Uh, so what that means is that the Type-C cable that you get with a Pro Controller is connected within my Pro Controller. So uh, I always play wired primarily and well, now I do since I've been doing this for the last two days. Usually I used to, of course, play wireless, but like Personally, for me now, wide is just like very, very consistent uh, with when it comes to tracking and like talking onto targets. Uh, there used to be a thing where like there used to be like extra input lag, and I don't know. I'm just theorizing maybe the 9.0 update for the Nintendo Switch might have updated things to make uh, wide communication a lot better than uh, what it is right now. Because uh, personally, I don't exactly feel any input lag or not like any input lag, but any extra input lag that I used to apply. Also forgot to mention this while I was doing this live. I also have controller vibration off, mainly because when it comes to focusing on targets that are on my screen, I feel like I focus more on it. And I feel like it's a distraction more than anything. Obviously, this is a personal preference thing. Uh, some of you guys might like controller vibration and, you know, the HD rumble that's within the Pro Controller. Uh, but personally, this is just why I have it off. Yeah, those are actually all the settings. Those are my perfect settings. Uh, Swarth Splatoon 2, that's how like I've been playing for the last two days. And I can't see myself switching my sensitivity anytime soon because literally... My my, my my stuff feels perfect. Like, I, I feel like I have no trouble aiming, no trouble uh, doing things. Uh, my movement's on point and all that type of stuff. Like, I know to, you know... I got pretty good movement, I think. You know, it's just... it's just, It just feels good. So that is pretty much going to be the video for you guys. It's just a somewhat short video just to show you guys a little... A little I guess just a couple of settings to, you know, I'll let you guys know of. And uh, that is pretty much going to be the video. Now, just to add, uh, obviously, you know, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if, if you haven't followed already. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of you being generous. And to talk about my public Discord as well, I know some of you that may have been trying to join my public Discord for, like, I don't know how long, and uh, maybe have had trouble of not being able to join at the same time. Uh, the link in the description below is now fixed. So basically, if you've ever tried to like get into my public Discord and the link has just never worked and you had to search for Google, uh, you know, that works now. So go ahead, come talk to me and all that type of stuff. You can ask me a question. I might not answer it, but I'll try to do my best to answer it. But uh, <laughs> I talk in my public Discord a lot. But yeah, I'm just being, I'm just joking, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, hope it was interesting for you. Thank you very much everyone for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.